What's going on, everybody? It's your man, T. Bell. Hope everybody had a great, great Memorial Day celebration. Uh, my family did. It's been a long weekend, but it's back to the grind. You know how we do. It ain't Monday, but Tuesday is close enough to Monday. They cousins. Uh, today, I just want to make this little inspirational video. Just putting it out there. Um, What is it that you're asking for? You know, what are you putting out in the atmosphere? What are you asking God for? What What are you putting out there? I don't know if some of you have read the book called The Secret. And it's basically talking about the law of attraction. And, you know, you put whatever you put out in the atmosphere is what you get back, right? So that's why I'm asking that question. What are you putting out in the atmosphere? You ever said something or you just mentioned something you want or you need it? And, you know, <clears throat> either somebody blessed you with it or some kind of way it fell into your lap. God blessed you with it. Either way it go, you put it out into the atmosphere that you was like, I was just talking about this. And it happened. That's what I'm talking about. What are you putting out in the atmosphere? What are you asking for? Like, you, like me and Joy was praying last year for me to get a better job that actually pay some real money in a field that I actually like. And I had a specific number of, you know, how much I wanted it to be. And this is how I know God listened to my prayers. And now I, I'm I, I'm laughing because I feel like I set the bar low now. But literally, God was like, okay, this is the amount you want? Cool, I can do that. And he answered the prayer. The job I wanted, the payment, and it's, close, it's really close to my house. I ain't got to drive 30, 40, 50 minutes away from my house. So it worked out much better than I expected. But, you know, I could have prayed for a lot more, but, you know, when you pray for stuff, you got to be very, very specific specific about what you're praying for, what you're putting out to the atmosphere. Like I was talking to somebody yesterday and she said she was she was telling me how she was praying because she was working like 12 hour shifts with her kids. And she was just like, I don't want to clock in for nobody. I want to be my own boss. I don't want to have to work for nobody else. And I just want to be able to do my own business. And she said she ended up having a work related injury where she sued her company. And she said she took that money and she used it to start her own multiple businesses and buy some properties and things like that. And uh, she she had an incident where um, something happened and she was like, well, you know, it happened. It hurt me. But, you know, that money, when I when I got that money from them, it, you know, it blessed me to be able to do what I want to do. Now I've invested that money in other things. Now I don't have to be nobody a uh, worker. I don't got to do 12 hour shifts for nobody else. I can do my own thing. And she just told me, you got to be specific about how you pray because, you know, I didn't want this injury to happen, but, you know, I thank God it did because it's, you know, it provided, it provided me the opportunity to leave my job and I ain't had to work for nobody. So I just got to, I'm asking you, what is it that you putting out in the atmosphere? She says she ain't want to be work for nobody else. We all say that, but, you know, to a certain extent, we mean it. And to another extent, we just really just be talking. But she said... You know, once she was able to leave her job, she feel at peace. She feels blessed. And I'm now I'm at that stage in my life with me and Joy. You know, I've uh still I do my videos and everything like that. I got my own I got my own um media company. Joy, she's she's in that space of trying to figure out what she wants to do. Because nobody really wants to punch the alarm clock and have to get up every day at the same time. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where you have to ask yourself, do I want better for myself or am I just going to accept what I, I'm dealing with right now? I just pose the question to you. What are you putting into the atmosphere? What is it that you're asking God for? What is it that you're trying to reap? If you put out negativity in the atmosphere, guess what? That's what that, that's just what's going to surround you. If you put out positivity in the atmosphere, you would be surprised the mountains that you can move with your positive faith. I'm going to just leave you with that. All right. I hope you learned something. I hope you've been inspired. I hope you put something positive into the atmosphere today. We're going to have a great day. Don't say it's Monday. It's rough and all that kind of stuff. But just be glad. God bless you with another day. And we're just going to make it a great, great Tuesday, which is the cousin to Monday. All right. Love y'all. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope you got some leftover barbecue so you ain't got to spend no money. And just be positive. Stop being so negative. Be positive. Put some positive into the atmosphere. All right.